Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Right, today's video is sponsored by Tradeify. Uh, for those of you who don't know Tradeify, what Tradeify is, Tradeify is a job management uh, software. Now, I can genuinely say that Tradeify has completely transformed the way that we run our business. Um, for those of you who like having a bit of spare time, then I'd 100% you rec recommend it. Um, for example, this job here, right? So it's a lovely garden project that we've got going on. Sorry about the sun. Um, we are doing all new garden lighting design. There is, there's landscape has been in, so he's done his bit, uh, and we've come to do a complete install. So I've come out to site, I take all my photos, done all my plans, I've then itemized it on Tradeify, which I've got a lot of terms set up so I know exactly how much you know each thing are, I just alter the numbers. I then email it straight over to the customer. She's got a clear accept and decline, she can review it. Now I get loads of work purely because it is so detailed. Uh, there's so many, so many functions on it that you can do and like I say, it will just keep growing with. So whether you've a one-man band or you've got 20, 30 lads working for you, it'll cover it. Now, I genuinely, people go, oh yeah, but you're being paid to say this. I will not endorse anything that I don't 100% use. And I've been paying for it myself for over a year and it's absolutely brilliant. So the other thing you can do, you can set up payments, payment reminders, all that sort of thing. Because let's face it, you know, who wants to be chasing money? So if you want to go and give them a trial i'll put the link in the in the comments below it's a 14 day free trial which is exactly what i did i had it recommended to me uh, from somebody else and that's what i did did my 14 day free trial then if you use the promo code ghawk50 you'll get 50 percent off for the next three months after your 14 days have finished you can't say fairer than that so with that being said even just give it a try honestly you won't look back um, I actually showed Jack uh, the software yesterday we were going through it because we finished up a job it now needs rewiring and we were going through it and I said look we finished finished the job come back to the office I'm going to show you how easy it is to quote so let's go and find out from Jack's point of view what he thinks about it because and then we'll go through all this job that's the Jack well, What's your view on Tradeify? Wicked. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, hard on, yeah, it's wicked. It's, well, it's just easy. It's so easy, isn't it's, it? It just makes things just a lot quicker, smoother. See? Uh, and a lot of your orders. Yeah, oh yeah. We've got some hoodies as well that we, we've got. Um, but the thing is, Jack's a year one apprentice. Now, if a year one apprentice is endorsing it and he can use it, give it a whirl. So, like I say, that's what we're up to. And like I say, it is sponsored by Tradeify. So, job today. This is the job. So, like I say, I've come here a day early, so I'll be back. Won't get it all done today. I'll be back in various different places. So, what the plan is, we've got consumer unit is in the garage to the side. We're splitting that. We're putting another little separate one on. Jack's already cracking on with the trench. So, we're going to be running our armoured all the way down, all the way around the outside of the building and to that wonderful little summer house. So let's go up there. Gotta run, gotta run. So, run, 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 run. So, in here, we've already got a little consumer unit that's actually fed off a spur, off a spur inside the living room. Runs all the way down here, all the way through here, and into this, this lovely little summer room. It's a shame that it's been installed very, very poorly. Um, it's not glanded, it's the wrong size cable for everything, even what they've got in here. So it's not good enough. So I've got to take it all out because it's not on. Um, and then we're going to, basically we're going to be putting in, there's provisions for a patio heater going down there. We have got spike lights going on. We have wall lights going on all being switched by kinetic switching. So it's gonna be an absolutely awesome project. So less waffling from me. So if you like the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Like I said, trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by Christmas. I don't know whether I'm gonna do it. Uh, I really hope I can, because I always like to set myself goals and that is one of them. So 
I'm going to go and help Jack and uh, we'll catch up with you in a second when we're in the garage. Right, so this is the job. So we're inside now, so the garage. Main house consume units up here. So we're going to be putting on a uh, little four-way uh, fuse box consumer unit. So once that comes down, we're going to split the tails here uh, and then we're going to go down uh, to that. Now, when I originally came here, I had it in my head that I'm going to do it a slightly different way. And do you know what? I'm going to tell you what exactly what I thought in my head I'm going to do. So where we've got, just squeeze through Jack, thank you. So where we've got this archway here, I thought, do you know what, because the, the board is literally just not here, I thought I'm gonna, gonna bring the cables across this top here, then drop it down, and then all the way along up the, the fence line. But looking at that brickwork, that's gonna fall down. So I don't really wanna be drilling in loads of holes all across here because I've got a high risk of that falling down, and I really don't wanna be rebuilding that. So we've come up with a cunning plan, a cunning plan. So. We've now come up with this idea, if we're going to make the trench, yes it's a little bit more work, but ultimately is that going to be less work than rebuilding that arch, and yes it definitely is. The ground's not too bad looking at the way Jack's going at this, like a, like a madman, <laughs> like an absolute madman. So we're going to dig dig our way through for the trench, so we're going to drill down through here an angle of like, like that, bring it across and then we're off then behind the shed and all the rest of it. So that's what we're up to right now i will um i'll get cracking on that so and then yes yeah, sorry missing out a key element how do we get it back to the board so that's where it's going to be coming through it's going to drill through behind the where that door is we're then going to run it up the garage and then the garage we're lucky look we've got a loft so we're going to bring it above there all the way along and then drop it down into our our new consumer unit so that's the plan so i think what we're going to do i'm going to get set up with the drill start drilling through for my angle for jack so he can crack on and then we're going to get jack to start pulling the uh 10 mil in all the way around all the way around the garden and then we're going to put it around the perimeter and then we can bury it uh in the perimeter so that's the plan I feel really out of breath don't even know why i'm not i'm i'm out of breath just watching jack and rattling on so i better get cracking Right, so Jack's done the trench now, so we're all done, ready to go. Uh, I don't know whether you could see that, but we've we've just drilled through uh, with the core drill. Um, because I've got a 10 mil and a six mil to go through there, it's, I thought, do you know what, I'm gonna try using the, <laughs> the core drill uh, to make that a smoother and a nicer transition from outside to in. So I just set it up on, on the SDS. I don't, like I said, I've got a core drill, a proper core drill, but I thought, you know what, I'll just try it on that. And it absolutely smashed through there. So <coughs> really happy with that. So what I have done, come in here, Jack. So what I've actually done is drilled it down at the angle. So it's drilled like, like that. So if you can see down there, and the reason why that is drilled that way a bit, a bit crime watching. Um, I'll just pop that back up there. Um, the reason why I've drilled it down that way is it creates two benefits. One, that the water won't travel uphill coming into the building, uh, and also it allow me to form the cables nicely so they're flat to the wall uh, on in here and going down into the trench. 
that's why I do that. Um, so, bit of a bit of a bonus day really because it was supposed to be hammering it down, weren't it, Jack? Yeah. And it, but it's it's nice, beautiful sunshine. Look, beautiful, beautiful sunshine. So that's where we're at. So we're going to start getting the um, we'll get the drum runner over there and then we'll start pulling these uh, this 10 mil in so that is what we're up to so but first of all i'm starving jack you starving yeah we're gonna have very some starving. It's very very starving lot growing boy you see lot growing lad so we're gonna get some food food shovel down uh and then well, so the main thing for me today is getting these these cables ran chuck rounds and then get this path back now and get that back to normal so that's what we're up to right so We've, me and Jack have just pulled the uh, 60 meters of 10 mil uh, all the way, so it's loosely run now all the way uh, down down the border basically. And Jack is now behind the summer house, uh, so he's behind there, starting doing the trench back to the summer house. But I just wanted to quickly show you this. So, so we've put this in, so we've backfilled a little bit, uh, and then you put your marker tape down. Now it's really really important to do this because. Let's be honest, as time moves on, you know, it might not be, you know, this year, it might be 10 years, might be 20 years, but at some point someone's going to do the path down here, you know, because it's natural, that's what people do. They, they, you know, always do more and more stuff to the house. So the likelihood is they might get a machine in here, it's a big patio area, and they're just going to come straight in, use the digger, scrape it all through. Now it should be pretty obvious that there is a cable there because, you know, we've got, got cables coming down but it's not always the case. So that's why it's really important to put the marker tape in. So it's obviously the cable's underneath that, but it is really, really important that you get that in. Um, so the job for, for now is to then backfill, tamp that down, and then relay these slabs. Uh, that, is, that is the jo job for me at the minute. Uh, and then that way, this path's sorted. Then after that, I'll be coming in the, coming into the garage, uh, and then sorting because that's where it comes through look. so it comes through there and then I'm going to go clip it up into that loft space up there so it's going to be in the loft space and then a rang along a rang a rang like a rangatan it's going to be a rangatan all the way over there so it's going to be along all the um, the rafters and then we're going to drop it down and, uh, and make it off into uh, into the new board so but like I said, because if it's supposed to rain it was supposed to rain today it's supposed to be raining tomorrow I want that path back to normal um, because if not that's going to be like a swamp out there so I better get cracking. So, as you saw, then we've got um, we've got the slabs back down. Okay. So what I've done is I've cut a little notch in in the back of that slab there. Now I'm not happy with how how they've ended up. Okay. So these slabs here. So it's that one, that one, and that one. I'm not happy with those. So when I come back on the return visit, I'm going to bring some sharp sand and cement. Um, and I'm going to bed them in properly because for now like I say the weather's closing in so it's going to be a bit of an issue so I wanted to get these back down so I'm not happy leaving those as the finished article so they are definitely not going to be left like that um, 
Yes, all right. I know some of these are a little bit all over the place, but when I take something up, I want it right. So we're going to lift those back up uh, and bring those in. But for now, like I say, I'm not back here until once I've done the rest of it. I'm not back here till next week. So for now, they can still walk and use the path like normal and get the bins out and all that sort of stuff. So because the weather is going to be closing in, what I'm going to do now is I am going to get these cables that are on the floor here just down there i'm going to get them up into the loft space and that'll do me and then i'm going to wait and then i'm going to go and help jack and then we're going to go start putting all the uh, the armored in for all the actual lights now with these lights they they're going to be switched separately so i need to speak to the client how they want them breaking up because i've got some spike lights i've got wall lights uh, I've got some lights on the uh, summer house. Let's just speak out there, look. So on that summer house, I've got lights either side of those as well. So I'll go and speak to the client, see what they want uh, and how they want it, and then we're going to put the kinetic switch by the back door. So it's definitely the the way to go, I reckon, on this one. Sorry about the wind noise; it's a bit windy. We're going to go up and find out what Jack's been doing. Hold on. Running through. So through the jungle, the old jack. Oh, they're getting off. It's not Ooh. very nice, Dig. Not very nice, Dig. Not compared to around there, is it? Oh, too so that's the that's the original supply coming in. So that one there. So that is, I think, I think it's a two and a half mil off, off memory. Uh, running in, and it's about a 45 meter run off a spur, off a spur, and it's not terminated at all into that board um, so yeah not really good so Jack's just getting on with the trench here leading it back to the uh, the edge here and then we've got more more cables going to be running out that way and that way uh, on all the digging so we'll dig all those bits in at a later date but I think the majority is just just making sure I've got my loops in ready to go um, so I'm going to go into the loft space now let's go and find out what that's like up there. So we are in the loft space and to be honest, nice and empty. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting it to be rammed. Uh, so as you can see from that way, so that's where the actual, all the cables come down and feed, feed the consumer unit there. So our plan is to run it along this way, up into that corner, run it along, um, and then we'll terminate it down. Luckily enough that that joist there, that um, joist, that um, roof truss, sorry, is set off a little bit. So I've got like a, a two inch gap, so it works absolute perfect for me. So I'll run my cables through. So, right, I'll get that started, I think. So, I've just had a massive brain fart moment. Um, <laughs> the drill battery was uh, flat in the SDS. Gone out, changed it over, uh, and then put the flat one back in. And it was only after the second hole that I drilled, and I thought, God, this is slow. I wonder whether it's broke, until I realized, what an idiot. So, anyway, um, <laughs> what an absolute donkey. Right, so I've got the armoured in, so that's all, all in in place now. So, down to, to the floor. See what I mean? How it's important to drill that down at an angle. Water will not travel up, travel, travel, travel up um, to there. So that needs sealing both sides. Um, and then we've armoured it up, uh, cleated it up. Sorry. Uh, so I just use a level. It's nothing, you know. Sometimes I use the green beam, but not always. Uh, so I just use a level, level line one of them. And all you got to do is just just piggyback them together, match them both up. Yes, I could have used the linear clips, but it is in a garage and it's a single skin. And when I'm doing it like that, where they're literally side by side, I'll have two 10 mil holes right next to each other. It's a bit much, so it won't hold. So then I'd have to stagger them. So like one there, one there, and I just didn't really want that. So that's that's the only reason why. Normally I use do use linear clips, but I decided not to on this one. So that's that bit done. Uh, the rest of the coil is all wrapped up now into the loft, ready for the board. Like I said, because it's going to be the weather's going to be closing in. 
I'm better off spending my time now outside. I know what the plan is now. So we're doing spike lights all on one switch. Uh, and then we've got the wall lights, which are gonna be, there's Jack, look. Um, there's a wall light to go over there. Uh, one there, one there, spike light in the corner. Two on the um, summer house, uh, two uh, down lights. We've got post lights. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start running the spike lights out. Everything's being powered from the summer house. So that's why I've got, you know, the uh, the armoured going up there. So I'm going to get that all set up. I'm going to use one and a half mil, three core on this. I'm going to put it on the old drum runner uh, and then we're going to start reeling it out. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to leave it ready for, ready for the light fitting. Fittings. Right, so right on cue, rain is coming. Um, it's just started, so it's not not brilliant. Um, right, so we ran the cables. So the cables are all the way around the perimeter, okay? So it's very easy for the homeowner, because they are keen gardeners, to know exactly where they are. We are gonna bury them in, but I just wanted to show you where, where we're at right now. So, sorry for the wind noise as well. It's incredibly windy now. Um, so, we've got our cables come around this tree so I've got a spike light which is going to go here up lighting the trees so what I've done is I zip tie the two ends together so we'll bury up this all in and then I zip tie the two ends so they stay together um, it makes life a lot easier so again I use the same sort of format as as you would do in your houses straight lines where possible okay so like for example this one here I've got a a light going in here so I'm going to be running that cable as you can see is going to go straight to the back and then along so it's pretty easy to know where that all is so as you're doing your gardening and all the rest of it I try and do it that way so then there's a mass of cables at the back they know not to dig right at the boundary um, because it's obvious that we're going to have cables all the run run all the way there the we've run the cables all the way round so we've got because they're all being switched separately i've got a spike light in the spike light in the corner and then again down to here we've got we just zip tied our our loop in ready for because we're going to have an up lighter for the wall and then there's one over that way but unfortunately i've run out of cable so i'm gonna have to go and get some more so it's a bit annoying so i'm gonna have to go and sort that out but jack can carry on doing some of this trench work so very very annoying so we've also put in because the landscape gardener because originally was just they were just going to have a socket here to uh, on this post light down there originally that's what was going to happen um, just for like a patio heater and all the rest of it but because of the supply issues what they've got is not a chance not going to happen but we can still use that that armored cable there's nothing wrong with that so that's already been buried in and that's tucked down so we've got all our tell you what, I'm gonna show you Rather than explain to you, I'm going to show you. So through the jungle, around the back. So you see how we've got our cables, you know, roughly laid in here. So it's going to come down here and then back into the trench. So we started labelling them up because we're not back here like I said, until I think it's next week, and we are expecting a lot of bad weather. So we've labelled it up. So if you can see on there, so we've got a socket for the bollard. So that's that one, and then we've got spike lights going in, which is which is that one. Um, so hopefully you can see that okay. So I've got the spike lights, because that's not gonna come off with all the rain. It's not gonna go anywhere and I'm not gonna have to worry about it. So that'll all be brought up to here. Uh, and then I'm probably gonna put, it's whether I put my whisker box on the back here with all my quinetic or do I have to put it on the inside? I can't quite make my mind up. It's probably gonna be on the inside. Um, I've got, like I said, I've got a good canopy as well on the back, so it's not going to get wet across here anyway, even though it's going to be IP rated, all the, the stuff going in. But whether I do it that way, I don't know. So, I'm not quite sure. Not quite sure. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and shoot off and go get some more cable, I think, because it's still early enough in the day. Because, uh, to be honest, if we're going to get soaked, we might as well get soaked once, don't we, really? So, Jack's in agreement. Yeah. What do you think, Jack? Get soaked. Yeah, Jack, when he was digging this trench out, I said, Jack, it's, gonna, it's starting to rain. He says, oh, good. I'm glad it's raining. Because he, boiling. Because he was roasted. So I was like, all right. And 
I'm the one with the issues, eh? Youth of today, <laughs> mental. So, yeah, I'm gonna go and do that, and I shall catch up with you in a minute. Right, it is definitely hammering it down now. Uh, we're pretty wet, gonna be honest. So, Jack's buried all these cables in, so they're all buried, buried down now. Um, they just come up, you see here, where we're gonna bring them up. Jack was happy a minute ago because he had the shelter of this conifer tree up here. Now he's moved out from it. See, look, so what we've done is we've zip tied all these together and then Jack's working his way through uh, and burying them all in. Uh, and I'm gonna show you around the back of the shed, but it is, it is so wet now and I've, my boots are full of mud. So trying to keep that off the path. I'm gonna go around this way, but so hopefully, See, it's not all glamorous, is it? All this. So what we've got now, so yeah. we've got the armoured all run down, all zip tied together, comes around here, uh, and then down into the trench where it's gonna lead, lead up into here. Um, but we are, how wet are we, Jack? Very wet. Very wet, very wet. So what I'm gonna do is, because we've got, so much stuff going on uh going out obviously we've got the obviously we're getting soaked as well um but yeah so we're gonna leave it there so hopefully you've enjoyed this video if you have don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like i say the video is sponsored by tradeify go and check them out honestly you will not regret it it's such such a good bit of uh, job management software that i we won't be without it now so genuinely even if you just try it for 14 days Click on the link below. Like I say, I'll put it. I'll put it in the description. Just have a go with it. See how you get on. Just do some some fake quotes with it, and I, I guarantee that if you once you get your head round it, you will save so much time. So much time because, like for example, for us for doing a rewire, I've got it all set up, all ready to go. So per, per room, all I have to do is just alter the number of points per room. And it's done. You haven't got to mess about with anything else. So go and check them out. So uh, I'm going to go and, go, and, <laughs> go and help Jack a bit more. So don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like the video. And we shall see you tomorrow. Bye.